Hey everyone, I'm Mayanne from Wellness with Mayanne. I'm a holistic nutritionist, a former personal trainer, a wife, and a busy mom. I'm going to talk to you today about one of the ways we can start adding self-care into our lives, and our families will benefit from this as well. So one way to do this is a kitchen clean-out. Often there are a lot of items in our kitchen that cause us way more harm than good. The old saying, you are what you eat, is true for your health. Much of what we eat determines our overall health, our energy levels, our mood, including anxiety, depression, irritability, and how well we cope with the busyness of life, weight gain, and whether or not we're able to lose weight easily. If we fill up on junk like sugar, refined carbs, and trans fats, it's going to show on our body, and it will appear in so many ways in our health and well-being. And what makes it difficult is that we're often misled into thinking that something is good for us because the label tells us it is, when in fact it's not. So I'm here to help you today to clear up some of the confusion on the most common kitchen items. And what better time for a fresh start than springtime? So to get started on changes for a healthier you, let's take a good look at your kitchen, the fridge, your cupboards, the pantry, and get rid of all the things that are causing more harm than good. So the first thing that we'll start with, that we'll focus on, are processed and packaged foods. These are full of chemical ingredients, artificial sweeteners, and trans fat. Your body doesn't actually recognize these things as food, and it will spend a lot of energy processing, detoxifying, and eliminating them. So this would be things like cold cereals with more than 4 grams of sugar per serving, pop, cookies, cakes, candies, chips, crackers, pretzels, most granola bars, breakfast bars, energy bars, so often things uh, like frozen dinners and lunch meats, sausages, artificial sweeteners, and products with artificial sweeteners. And I know I just listed off half of most people's kitchen cupboards, but stay with me and I'll show you how to get healthier replacements. So also old condiments that you hardly use, these are often hidden sources of added sugar, sodium, and fat and they may be harboring mold or other pathogens. So these would be things like mayonnaise, ketchup, and salad dressings. And if you're using vegetable or canola oil, you can replace it with organic extra virgin olive oil or coconut oil. These are great healthy fats that our bodies need. Lastly, get rid of any fridge experiments that are lurking in the back because these are perfect breeding grounds, again, for mold or other pathogens. So these few changes will give you a great jump start to healthier living. And now if you're wondering what the heck to eat since you've just tossed out half your kitchen, check out the natural aisle of your local grocery store or health food store for much healthier versions of the foods that you're tossing out. Often they're much lower in sugar and chemicals and higher in nutrients. And this is just one of the ways of taking care of ourselves. And when we start taking care of ourselves in more ways, our outlook and our lives change for the better. Our energy, our confidence and self-esteem improves and our relationships improve just as a result. We look great and we feel great. If you're interested in learning more about what I do and how I can help you, send me an email or a message on my Facebook page. I'd love to hear from you. Until next time, Enjoy your day.